Hey y'all, it's Nay. Thank you for listening to I'll Sip to That. So go ahead and grab your drink of choice and let's dive in. Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in to another episode of I'll Sip to That. I'm your host, Nay. And I know I always start off by saying what we're drinking on, but I'm taking a back seat today on the drinking. <laughs> well, kinda. I'm just keeping it very low key today. Yesterday for Mother's Day, and I hope everybody had a great Mother's Day. Um, showed your moms all love, nothing but love for all my mamas. Yesterday I went to visit my aunt, and they was drinking on that Remy. You know, you know how I sit. You know I'm over there drinking it like water. Okay. Uh, we were drinking Remy. I was mixing it with the Mike's Heart Lemonades, you know, sometimes, you know, just a little, just a little something on the side. It's not a big thing. I wasn't chasing it with it, but I was sipping on the Mike's Heart Lemonade, then we went to shots, and then I was just sipping on, you know, the Remy and, uh, Pepsi, I think that's what they had. Um, uh, but, you know, I was fine. I was feeling it. I was having a good time. I literally was so hungry when I came home and I just was eating uh, some rib, I mean like a little rib sandwich last night. I don't even remember going to sleep. I I don't even remember like putting my plate away. Girl, I woke up and why I had half a sandwich in a plate right next to my face. I was, I I don't even, I can't even say nothing to y'all because I was a hot mess. But it was only when I was going to bed, that's the only part I don't really remember was finishing my sandwich. I honestly thought I ate my whole sandwich. Like, I thought I ate my whole sandwich, but I only ate half of it. And I'm, I'm so thankful I didn't choke because I don't even remember, I thought I ate it all. So, I just was not in the mood to do anything today. So that's why you're getting this episode very, very late. I am going to be uploading on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. I'm trying to get my schedule down, and I'm trying to be very, very consistent. I know I said daily, but daily wasn't working out for me, and I felt so overwhelmed, and I felt so rushed, and I just felt like I couldn't get my recordings the way that I want to, and just felt so forced. So for me, I like to sit back, do my research, you know, relax, and just let it flow out. So keeping the schedule it'll give me more time to edit and it'll give me more time to really think about what I really want to bring to you guys I want it to just be good I don't want it to be forced so Mondays Wednesdays and Fridays I will be uploading I want to say by 7 or 8 p.m. just gonna put that out there I just felt like I overdid it yesterday I definitely overdid it yesterday with the drinking so today I just opened a Mike's Heart Lemonade. So I'm still drinking with y'all. Anyways, I was on Twitter. It was this quote or whatever. I seen it and it literally said if a woman asks or initiates the date, who pays? The woman or the guy? And I was like, hmm, a man is definitely supposed to pay. I would never go out to any date, any hangout, anywhere and not have money myself, whether you ask me on a date or not. I mean, I never go around being broke just know I got my own and I got you you know but as a date it's like you're supposed to pay for the woman you know like that's just standard I mean men always throw this around they always say oh what about you know equality (laughs) and feminism if they don't want to pay the date and I'm just like that's nothing to do with feminism that's just like a standard hey if it's our first date you should pay I mean, there's times where if she asking you out, you know, you feeling each other or whatever, if she asks you out, then she's going to pay for the date. There is women out there who would initiate a date and they will still expect the man to pay, which I feel like that's kind of shady. And I feel like that's kind of stupid because if you initiate the date as a woman for any reason, you know what? Whoever initiated the date should pay. Now, if it's, you know, I don't know, I would feel a type of way if it was the first date and you wanted to split the check. I don't know. I don't know. 
it just felt like it's not really a date to me. It just felt like we were hanging out or something. Like, if it's a date, a woman wants to feel wined and dined and picking me up and all this. If it's the first date and whoever initiated it should pay. We're on a date and you tell me, hey, let's let's go out to eat or let's go hang out, do something. And you're expecting me to pay my way. You're expecting me to pay for my food. You're expecting me to pay. You expect me to hold my own. Just know this is not a date. This is... So I'm not going to treat you as we're on a date. I'm going to treat you as my friend. Me and you, we are not on the same level right now. Our headspace and what you thinking is going on and what is actually happening is not a date. We're hanging out. I wish somebody would say, hey, you want to go on a date with me? And I'd be like, yeah, all right, let's go on a date. And let's just say we go to the amusement park or something. And he goes up and he'll say, you know, okay, it'll ask, you know, how many tickets or how many... And you say one, but you know I'm going to toss your ass so far. And you say one, and you you pay for one. I'm looking at you sideways. Like, are you kidding? I thought this was a date. You told me, do you want to hang out as a date? It wasn't like, hey, you know, you trying to go to Six Flags? It's the content. It's the content. And somebody said, hey, you trying to go to Six Flags with me? I'm like, hell yeah. I know I'm going to pay for my own ticket. I'm not expecting you to pay for me. But if you say... Hey, you want to go on a date? Like, trying to see me, trying to hang out, you trying to do this stuff? I'm going to think you're paying for me. If you're inviting me out somewhere, I'm thinking you're paying for me. And then we never had that conversation of who's paying for what. I'm going to automatically think that you're paying for me as well. If you're not clear on what it is that you want or you're expecting, then it's like nobody knows which way to go. Be clear. You need to be clear. If you initiate as a man a date with your significant other or whoever you're dating and you expect them to pay, that should be told in the introduction of do you want to hang out or do you want to go on a date? It needs to be implied in there somewhere. It needs to be implied that you expect me to pay or you expect me to split it. Something. You can't just be like, hey, let's go on a date. We go out to eat. The bill come and you staring me down. Like I'm staring you down. <laughs> you you ask me out on a date. How? Why are you staring at me? Get the check and pay for it. If it's just like, oh, so we're going to split this? Mm, mm, no. No, that's you're not the man for me. I'm sorry. If we're going on a date and you tell me you want to split the check, when the check come, trust me, I got my own. I'm fine. We're paying for my stuff, but just know we are not going on a date anymore. We are not dating anymore. We're not. I'm sorry. I'm going to cut you off right there because it's like, come on, dude. We were having such a good time and then it's come and then I'm thinking that you're going to wine and dine me and everything and, you know, it's a nice date, you know, at the end of the day, a man pays, but to just assume, what if I didn't have any money? I come to you and be like, hey, you know, like, oh, you wanted to split it? I didn't know we were going to split it. I didn't bring, you know, any cash or I didn't bring any money. What, what are you going to say? Oh, okay, you know, it's all right. You know, I'll get it. <laughs> He's going to say, I'll get it this time. But you're going to get it all the time. You're getting it all the time. If we're on a date and you asking me, yeah, you're paying. Simple as that. If I say, hey, you want to go out and chill? I pay, you know what? It's not even like a money thing. It's what is your attentions type of thing, I feel. Because it's like when men ask people out on a date, ask whoever they're dating on a date, why wouldn't you pay? What are you searching for? Is this like a trial run? Are you going to try and see, like, I want to pick up a chat or I want to treat you like you want to fight over a bill for two seconds and then you do it? No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm not into playing those games. I mean, women do that, though. Women do it. <laughs> Especially when you don't have no money and you just want to be nice and just show them, like, you know, I don't need you. I could pay for my own, but, you know, I would like you to, you know, take care of this. So you, you, you fight for the bill. You be like, you got this? You be like, what? You be like, yeah, I got it. You sure? We could split it. No, 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 no. We don't know how to split that. Are you sure? 
Yeah. Okay. I'm just saying, you know. Boom. That's it. I didn't have no money. So if he would have said, let's split it, you would have felt so stupid. <laughs> you better dine a dash. <laughs> you better do something because he's going to look at you like, why the hell would you offer? And you know you broke. Girl. No, I just don't. I don't even. Whoever pays should be the one who initiated the date. If you did not initiate the date, then you don't pay. But always, always, always have your money on you. Don't go nowhere without money. My mama put that into my head a long time ago. She always told me, hey, you got pocket money? You got something in case of an emergency? She always told me to put money on in my pocket. Don't matter what it is, as long as I have money in my pocket. She's, we're good. She didn't really let me go nowhere without money in my pocket. And I'm like, ever since then, like, I will always just not go anywhere without money. I mean, I can be very, very picky and be cheap sometimes, yeah, but don't mean I don't got no money, you know? So, I just felt like if a woman initiates a date with a guy and she's asking him, hey, let's go on a date, let's go here, let's go, let's do all this, let's do this, this, and that, then she is paying, like, she knows she's going to pay for you. But as a man, do you really want a woman to keep paying your way for everything? I mean, you're going to obviously offer to pay your half or whatever you know it's fine like it's fine for women to treat men it's not taboo it's not something that's frowned upon it's just I'm letting you know I can hold my own and I don't know it's like a power move for me when I go and I take men out you know I don't don't go around taking everybody out like (laughs) I don't go around taking you know any and everybody I date out you know but I've took like one or two people out for dates that I dated seriously and they were so surprised they were like oh you're paying for me I was like yeah I got you like don't try like I got you he was like I have never been with someone that would treat me like I would always pay I'm just like well I'm built different you know I have no problems paying for my man I have it I want to treat you I want to make sure that you know I care about you. I'm serious about you. I'm treating you like a king. This is what you can expect from me. You ain't expecting this every day. I'm just saying, I'll put that out. You are not expecting this every day, but you can expect something, some type of gratitude or just like, hey, I'm feeling you or, you know, like just like I got it. Just pick up a check here and there, you know, like it's not even a big deal. It will earn you brownie points. Okay. That man will look at you with so much love in his eyes. He'll probably dick you down twice as good. He might even put some effort in it tonight. (laughs) You might get you might get a little bit of a treat. You better make him work for that money, okay? So, it's not bad as a woman to pay for a date. You're not like it's not built into us though. Like even from a young age, it's like a man is supposed to take care of you know his woman or whoever he's dated to show that he has his shit together. Like he is together. So I guess it just shows maybe you're just mature or you're you you got your financials together. Or you're just stable, you know? It just shows stability. If you invite me out and you still want me to pay for the whole thing, I'll pay for you. I'll pay it. But you will never see me again. You, will, I will never talk to you again. Because you had me under the impression that it was a date and that you were going to pay. If you weren't going to pay, you should have told me in the beginning. So I'll be prepared. But you're not ex expected to do anything it's just communicate it because like communicate it that's it just communicate with me what's going on man if you want to have a woman pay for you it's fine it's not something that's looked down upon i mean it's whatever i feel like it's not something that happens every day so it's like rare occasions but it's fine to let your woman wine and dine you i mean it's not making you less of a man that's fine a lot of men love that. A lot of men want to know, like, I got a woman who don't need me. She she got her own. That's attractive, you know? So, I just feel like if you want to split it or if you want to have that person pay for whatever portion um, of the date or whatever, that needs to be communicated in the beginning. Not when the check comes or not when you go to somewhere and you got to pay separate tickets and all this stuff. And then it just turns into a hangout and it's not a date anymore. Because if I'm paying for everything, we're not dating, homeboy. You are my friend and you are never going to get out that friend zone. You are just friends. 
that is all especially on the first date like if it's a first date i mean you're supposed to pay <laughs> you're i mean you're expected to be this person that they find attractive and they find security in you and you, you want to show that you're stable so you want to put your best foot forward and you know show them that you got it show them that you really care put the effort into the date and do all this you're not going to make the other person pay like what because when you first know when they go back and they ask you you know your friends and you talk about the date and you talk about the hangout they're gonna be like okay so how was it and you're gonna be like oh we went here and i ate this and you know we split the bill they're gonna be like they split the bill you split the bill how are you splitting the bill and it was a date no that would not work out too well <laughs> no it will so just communicate it like it's not even a big deal like it's it's unnecessary money is shouldn't be such a huge factor in dating but it is it is it's ugly i blame society and social media when it comes to the standard of financials with dating and this high expectation that the dates needs to be so romantic and all this stuff Da, 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 da. you got romance money shit you got romance money i don't got no romance money i got you know take you out to dinner you might get whatever you want on the menu like be reasonable you know don't go out on dates and you order all this expensive shit and you just assume he gonna pay for the lobster or the shrimp or the steak girl you gonna have that lobster shrimp and steak money so whatever you order you better be able to pay it on your own just saying that's why it's always good to take your own money because men be stingy okay they are stingy if you taking me out on a date to a restaurant i don't have no limit i'm not gonna order something super super expensive because that's not how I really go. That's not how I would regularly go out to dinner and order, you know? Like, yes, it's a date. You know, you want to live outside the box, blah, blah, blah. But at the same time, it's like, uh, I don't go out and get lobster on a date. I barely eat lobster, you know? So why would I order that? Just to see if he have it. He got it. He took you to the damn place. So he has it. Just know if he don't, then you got it. And you got his plate just in case of emergency. Stunt on him because he's trying to think that you this bougie broke bitch and you ain't. I got it. I got the money. I was just trying to see if you had it. Okay? That's what the tussle is about. You got the bill? Yeah, I got it. You sure? I mean, we could split it. You sure? Yes, I invited you out. Why would I make you pay? Okay, I'm just asking. See, that's the dialogue. That's the dialogue that needs to happen. That's letting him know, honey, I got my money. I'm just trying to tell you. I could pay for this whole meal and dessert if you want it, okay? And then you have to communicate that just because you're paying does not mean you paid for me. Let me say it again. Just because you paid does not mean you paid for me and what i mean by that is just because you paid for my burger doesn't mean you finna come get this shake okay i'm not expected to sleep with you just because you paid for my food i could pay for my food so i hate that expectation of if a man you know pick up the whole meal i mean the whole bill and the bill is kind of expensive and he picks it up so he expects something in return why why do you expect something in return i honestly don't get it meeting that men have create this <laughs> you created this rule of intimacy if you picked up a bill i mean the more you the most you're going to get is probably a kiss if i like you i mean if i enjoyed the date what's the problem you know and especially just because you bought me food like, I don't know, where's your standards at? Is that all it takes for you to, like, try and get some? You think buying food? Like, no. No. Maybe maybe the easy women, 
and the women who just want to hook up is fine with just a simple check and you know we're fine we're in business no 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 no. we're high class okay we high class bitches now and day we high class you have to do more than just freaking pay my dinner bill like i could like i said i could pay that myself so i mean if the roles were reversed really 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 i really want to know this if the roles were reversed and women would ex- was expected to pay for the meal. And we expected some type of payment after I paid for your bill. How would you how would you view us? How would you feel about that? I want to ask the men like how would you feel if a woman expected payment after paying for your bill? Like how would you even look at us again? How would you even want to go on another date? How would you even feel like I looked at you the same now as I did before this date. Like, my whole view of you changed. Because it's like, okay, like, okay, you want to go in for a kiss. All right, that's fine. You go in for a kiss if I want to kiss you. If I give you my consent, okay? You don't just dive in for a kiss. You got to read the room. Read the room. If I'm over here ordering just a salad, you getting a handshake, okay? We're not doing all that. That means I'm not comfortable with you. Or maybe I just wanted a salad. But nine times out of ten, if a woman is like buying little bite-sized pieces of nothing and you take her out on a date, it's going to feel like, one, he low-key kind of wasted his money because he felt like you're not very comfortable with him. And because I don't order a salad on date. It, you over here bringing me to dinner, that's a bold move. Because now you're going to see how I eat. <laughs> I think I went out to dinner or something and I ordered like like a pasta or something. Like a chicken pasta or something. And he was just like, oh, well, you know, I'm surprised you didn't get something smaller. You know, a lot of women, they don't even like to eat in front of their guy. I'm just like, I don't know what the fuck woman you have, but I eat. I mean, we all got to eat. I'm not going to sacrifice my eating habits just to look cute. But two seconds, why you think I wore makeup today? Why you think I took like almost two hours to get ready? This is your prize, okay? Let me have my fucking prize when I dive into this meal that I wanted, okay? So like the expectation of how much you paid for a bill, how much is that payment coming out to? Is a full course meal, you know, sex? Or if it's like she didn't order that much, maybe her bill was like under 20 bucks. Is that a kiss and a a long hug like how are you guys you know rounding up these payments to equal what you pay for the bill i want to know what is the price on a bill for sex is it over 20 dollars? is it over 30 dollars? is that what you're expected when you pay for a bill and it's that much money are you expecting sex after it if you expect me to have sex with you then shit i, I might as well get the lobster you know like i'm gonna put the price on my jj you're not gonna put the price on it i don't i'm not worth 20 dollars. okay i'm worth the steak shrimp and lo- and i want to drink too okay if you want me to give up the cookies shoot if that's how we doing it you want some ass you finna spend this cash Period. Like, you not finna be out here playing me like I'm worth $20. And ladies, don't be over here letting all your cookies go and the dessert go for $20. Now, you better get the drink that's not refillable. So you gotta buy the other drink to get some more. And you better not just order ice water. You better get you a margarita, a Mai Tai, a mojito, okay? You gonna get something. He gonna pay if he want you to pay. Y'all need to stop expecting that too. That's ridiculous. That's so ignorant. Just because we're going on a date, that means that I have to have sex. Uh, that's, that's ridiculous. If I'm spending, if I'm going to pick you up, that's gas. If, if I want to go to the movies and then you want concessions, that's more money. And if you want to take you out to dinner later, that's more money. So in total, you racking up. You, shut up. Shut up. Nobody told you to go all these places. We want me to say, no, I don't want to go anywhere for free. Shut up. <laughs> what do you want us to say? And then it's like, I'm spending all this money, then I'm supposed to get something. What you supposed to get? I wish you would. I wish you would. Read the room. Read the room. Because I will mace you in a second if you try to do anything crazy. We not playing out here in 2020, okay? We not taking no more. Why do you think? I mean, men out here acting like bums. 
y'all moving very stupid you're moving very stupid because nowadays it's like dates are like tests now you want to see if she's going to pick what she wants you want to you want to see if she's going to drive to the location or you or she's going to want you to pick her up like you're trying to do all these things you know and then you're expected to have some type of payment you're expecting her to oh i do like where did this come from did you guys just sit down one day all the the idiots of the world come down and say all right if the bill is over 50 she better give you some head some guys if the bill is over 100 if the bill over 100 she better be 100 you feel me she better do it all no games no play if she want dessert she better work all right can you get at me yeah, yeah, yeah. like shut up <laughs> Shut up. You guys are stupid. Damn. If women were so aggressive, like men being these super high expectations of women nowadays, if we put it on men, y'all would hate us. <laughs> y'all would hate us. So, and it's so funny because half the shit that y'all do, y'all wouldn't even think twice about tossing us to the side and going another way. But as a woman, we're supposed to be understanding and forgiving and submissive and blah, blah, blah. Like I said, we want you. We don't need you. <laughs> Let's be clear. We have our own. We're very independent. I can pay for your whole check. We don't gloat about it, but just know I got it. That's why nowadays it's like, could we get some excitement? <laughs> could we get some thought into these dates now? Like, I'm tired of the dating when you got to go to dinner all the time or movies. How many movie dates I've had? Psh so many i had so many dates and i remember those dates where it's like okay we're going to the movies and they didn't want to sit all the way in the back i'm not gonna sit all the way in the back i hate sitting all the way in the back i just felt like what's the point of going to the movies if you're going to sit all the way at the top like i want i actually want to watch a movie that's why i agreed to go to the movies it's because i actually want to see it i'm not trying to fuck you up there you know like, we're not about to have sex up there. Like, we are watching a movie, you know? Like, stop being, you know, handsy and all this stuff. And then you get an attitude when I actually want to watch the damn movie. I'm sorry, but I thought this was a date to the movies. Not a date to give you head up the top, okay? And then it's like, why Why I gotta give you head? Why I gotta do that? Why are you expecting me when we go to the movie, somebody's giving somebody head? And it's gonna be me. <laughs> what i didn't i didn't agree to this just <laughs> get it together please this is why we don't like y'all we don't like y'all i mean y'all cute to look at or whatever but shit y'all too much work it's like i don't know i feel like the moral of the story is it's it's like this like if you got it why do you feel like you need to be this cheap person or you need to make her seem like she's the broke one or something like i paid for the date i didn't ask you to pay for it I could have did that on my own. This is why I'm telling, I'm saying, hey, as a woman, it's like, is it okay to say, hey, I mean, is this a date? Are you paying? Like, are we splitting it and all this stuff? Because then now it's going to make him look like the asshole if he really wants to split it. But at the same time, it's like, well, now I look like the asshole because it's like, hey, like, do I have to bring anything, you know? And the man will be like, no, you're good. I got you. <laughs> that is like the best feeling in the world for a guy to be like, no, no, I got you. You got me, boo. Yeah, I got you. All right, I got you too. Next time, all right? You can buy whatever you want off that dollar menu, boy. You go ahead and do your heart's desire, okay? Rack it up. Rack it up to $20. You got, you earned it. You earned it, okay? Those moments are like so, so good to me. When a man just say he got you, it's like, ah. It's like a breath of fresh air. Be able to support yourself. If I know people be like, well, if you got it and you say you support yourself, so why does it matter if, you know, they tell you to pay or not or if they tell you let's put it or not like if you got it then why don't you have you know why are you making a fuss over a bill it's a principle it's a principle if you are asking me i am expecting you to pay when people say oh i don't have a problem with spending it yes you do because you weren't the one that asked for it you weren't even thinking about spending money today you was chilling at home then you had to go get dressed because you over here talking about oh yeah i'm down let's go and you thinking it's a date now. So now you're over here getting cute. Now you're over here doing this, putting your time in. And then you get there, then it's like, so we split in this? What you talking about? I thought you was paying for me. That's why you came to me. I didn't come to you. 
It wasn't a mutual thing. I wasn't thinking about going here. You thought about it and you wanted me here with you. That's why you text me. It is not my responsibility to say, are we splitting checks? Um, do I have to pay for myself? Um, like what is the money situation looking like? Cause then it's going to make it seem like I, I only think about money. I'm not trying to do that. It's just a common courtesy. Like, Hey, if I'm asking you out, I got you. Like everybody knows that. But nowadays it's like, Oh, you want to be equal. F -f Feminism, feminism. You want to be equal. That's not what we're talking. That's not what we're talking about. Okay. Just know I was able to front the bill. I got it we are equals i got it i don't need you but you invited me out you took me out of my piece of a watching spongebob you wanted to hang out with me so this is a result of that if you can't handle taking a woman out on a simple date you should not be dating and your expectation if you can't take someone out on a date and you pay and you have a problem with it because they an offer you're stupid and you need to check yourself nobody needs to offer anything that's that's just like a common courtesy it's not a rule it's not a rule when it comes to dating that i gotta offer all the time why do i have to offer all the time i'm not gonna offer all the time because you're gonna know what i'm paying for you i'm gonna say hey you want to go check out this uh I don't know. This outback over here, they got like some steaks and some shit, whatever. And you be like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Or they'll be like, oh man, like I ain't got no money right now. Like I'm tight. And you say, I got it. You are paying, you know? But it's not, I don't know. That's not a date. That's just hanging out. It's not a date. That's hanging out. Or if that happens, that is your window of saying, hey, so I'm paying, I'm not paying, like you're fully treated, everything else like that. Then say it. It's not a big deal. I feel like to just end this whole debate on who pays and who doesn't pay, it's like if you, when you're initiating a date, you're expecting yourself to pay. When you initiate the date, you expect to pay you don't expect the other person to pay i'm ex like you're expecting to pay that's what a whole date is is this not a date do you expect to pay do you expect me to pay just be open and honest with whoever you're dating just set that just have that open communication that open dialogue like is this a date yes you expect them to pay if you're initiating a date if it's not a date no they're expecting to pay their way or that's where it's like hey you want to split the checks you want to do this you know that dialogue is open but it's not expected so be clear on if it's a date or if it's not a date if it is a date you're paying if it's not a date your your options are open you can either pay the whole thing you can split it open dialogue you want to take over fine i'm not going to say hey don't pay because i invited you out no, if you want to pay, cause even though I invited you, then pay even though I invited you. But just know I had it. Just know I had it. There's a difference, you know? So I just thought that was a really interesting topic. I just thought that was a really interesting question to have because it's such a debate when it comes to men and women. It's like women expect the high standards, which we should. We date so many dogs and we get treated like so. And men is just have these high, high expectations of rewards and attention men expect things but they never say it they just assume like we're not mind readers you assume that i'm supposed to offer i'm supposed to pay this how, how am i supposed to know i'm supposed to offer it if you tell me you want to hang out with me so i'm offering the bill no i don't work like that son you have to kick back and just relax and enjoy the visual of me eating my food and you're gonna pay so i thought that was very interesting so I thought that was, um, yeah, so I've seen that a couple of times and I just thought that was a really cool discussion question. So <laughs> yeah, thank you guys for enjoying another episode with me. I'm your host, Nay. This is Al Sip to that and go ahead and sip with me on the next episode. <laughs>